This is the Scoop for Thursday. I'm Lisa Marzilli with the WMNF News Headlines. WFLA is reporting that the state attorney's office has dropped all charges against Antoine Glover, a Lakeland man who was beaten during an arrest in Polk County a year and a half ago. Lakeland police said they stopped Glover in December of 2022 for not wearing a seatbelt, but smelled marijuana and ordered him out of the car. As Glover was telling police he has a medical marijuana license, he says he ended up on the ground where officers began punching him. The beating was caught on video with Glover at the time. The Tampa Bay Community Action Committee has been demanding that the state attorney drop all charges. State Attorney Brian Haas declined to charge the officers at the time, saying Glover posed a threat to them. A Lakeland Police Department internal investigation also exonerated the officers. Investigators found Glover put an officer in a headlock, which he denies. The notice from the state attorney's office said the charges against Glover of battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting officers with violence could not be proven beyond a reasonable doubt. The Hillsborough County Commission will now have the opportunity to invest up to $25 million in Israeli bonds. WMNF's Chris Young reports from a diverse county commission meeting on the matter. The amendment was brought about by District 4 County Commissioner Michael Owen. I'll never understand the anti-Semitism that comes out of the community, uh, statewide or nationally. I won't. I won't ever get it. And uh, and, and I will look everybody in the face and let you, let everyone let's keep it down, and let you know that I stand by this. Previously, the county couldn't invest in foreign bonds, but now the county will have the option to invest in Israeli bonds. It was approved six to one, with the only no vote coming from District Six County Commissioner Pat Kemp. I'm concerned that this board has created a controversy about county bonds and finances where we shouldn't have. Most spoke out against the proposal during public comment, including Hillsborough County resident Cameron Pressey. Investing county money in a war zone is a bad investment. Others, including developer Sean Wilson, spoke in support of the amendment. I support uh, statements and actions in support of the state of Israel as a proud Jewish person. For WMNF News, I'm Chris Young. Amid the conflict in the Middle East, Manatee County commissioners have adopted a proclamation showing their unrelenting support of Israel. Commissioner Mike Ron said, shame on us and our government if we don't stand up and help Israel defend itself against terrorists like Hamas. Ron is also the commissioner who publicly objected to the Sunshine Skyway Bridge recognizing pride and gun violence awareness with its light displays. Residents in East Tampa shared their gun violence concerns in a town hall initiative hosted by Tampa police earlier this week. The meetings are held in different areas of the city on Tuesdays during the summer to get input from residents. This week's meeting tackled issues concerning teen violence. Meanwhile, last night, Mayor Jane Castor, Tampa Police Chief Lee Burka, and Councilman Bill Carlson hosted a town hall following a shooting in a South Howard neighborhood last weekend. Concerns expressed by businesses and community members included complaints about loud music from bars and bad behavior from customers. Residents said they'd also like to see more cameras in the area and capacity limits at bars and clubs enforced. Burkhoff said there are talks happening with some businesses about the possibility of voluntarily closing early. A three-judge panel yesterday refused to toss out a lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of a 2022 Florida Senate redistricting plan pointing to plaintiff's arguments that two districts in the Tampa Bay area were racially gerrymandered. The judges issued a six-page order that denied a request by attorneys for Secretary of State Cord Byrd and Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo to dismiss the case, which was filed April 10th in Tampa. The lawsuit alleges that Senate Districts 16 and 18 are gerrymandered and violate constitutional equal protection rights. District 16, which crosses Tampa Bay to include parts of Pinellas and Hillsborough counties, I'm Lisa Marzilli with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.